Hey there, I wanted to show you the latest uh, resource scheduling view for Dayback Calendar. It's right here called Daily, and it breaks down a whole month, um, you know, all the days in a month, according to however many resources uh, you have filtered. I've kind of picked a bunch of resources here. So it's super useful. Um, and you got a couple of options. Obviously, you can kind of see everything that's happening here. If you turn off Snap to Month, it'll only show as many days as you have selected here. So we can switch that to 14 and then kind of move around or use the, the calendar picker over here to navigate. Um, I like it with snap to month on, it's, it, it gets really useful this way. Um, and it works great with the filters. So we can say, um, I am only interested in things where there are errors and just kind of see what's going on. Obviously that's the current day. You can drag things to uh, from resource to resource to reschedule them like this, which is great. Um, and I can also use it kind of with the text search filter. So I can just type for Marty and kind of see that, you know, Amy's taking truck one to Marty out here and you know, do I need to do anything about that? So it's a super useful view. I think the other setting that's, that's kind of helpful here is this can take up a lot of, uh, take a lot to scroll through because some of these events are long. So if you don't need to see all the text here, you can just turn compressed view on and then it'll just show every event as a single line. It makes it a little easier to get everything um, with just a few scrolls. And obviously you can drag uh, to create a new event in whatever cell you want. And um, I hope you find it useful. Thanks.